Hey my loves, this is Bobby, and I'm here with a, another video. And this is going to be video number one for my November TBR. I am taking part in Thousand Door Readathon. I found out about it on Twitter. It sounded like a lot of fun, and as soon as I saw the video, I knew I had to take part because it just sounds so freaking interesting. Um, and like, it's going to be a blast. So basically what this is, is a make your own adventure style readathon. Um, there are three hosts. Each one of them have their own videos up for this. You have to watch the three videos. You pick a prompt that you like, um, whose prompt you like most, and that will be your first door. Um, after you finish your book, you are allowed to DNF. Um, depending on your thoughts at the end of your book, whether it's a DNF, one star, two star, three star, four star, five star, you go through a different door for each one of those and that leads you to your next prompt. I cannot wait to get started. Um, I have decided to go with the host, Emma, um, which is Drinking By My Shelf. Her prompt is five and these prompts are completely open to interpretation, which I love because I didn't have a fully set TBR for November. I just wanted to read as many of my queer books as I possibly can because I've been buying a lot and I've been gifted a lot of queer books lately and I'm dying to get to a lot of them. So I am picking out those. So for the prompt five, I have picked five of the books from the TBR that I had kind of set up and each one of these have five words in the title. So yes, I have ran with the number five. Um, basically what I've done is I've assigned a number to each one of these books. I have wrote the number down on one of these cute little rainbow cloud uh, sticky notes. I have put them in here. Now I'm going to shuffle it up and pick. So let's go over my choices. The first one is the future of Another Timeline by Anali Newitz. Uh, this, I don't exactly 100% know what it's about. Um, from what I know, it's like a punk rock feminist time traveling queer awesomeness. It sounds really cool. I don't want to know too much about this one. There's something about it that's just telling me go in blind when you read this. And those are like the only things I know about is like what I said. So I'm very excited for this one. So this is number one. So for choice number two is going to be The Prince and the Dressmaker by Jen Wang. This is a graphic novel. Um, the art is absolutely adorable and colorful. And I have been dying to read this one for months and I just haven't picked it up. This follows the story of a prince who leads a secret life um, at night. He dresses up in these extravagant gowns and stuff and is this famous fashionista um, that goes around, I believe it's Paris. Yes. And his best friend is his secret dressmaker. Um, it just sounds so cute. I've been dying to get to this one. Um, so hopefully I can get to this this month if I don't get it for this prompt. Um, the next one is, I've heard so many good things about it and I've had it on my shelf for, I've been wanting it for a while. I finally got it and I just haven't picked it up. I was supposed to read it in September, but I failed my TBR in September because I hit a really bad reading slump and my depression kind of picked up. So I'm really, really excited for this one. And that is the Falling in Love montage by C.R.S. Smith. Um, this follows the story of two girls that are going to be going away. Their summer has just started. At the end of summer, they are both going to be going away to separate colleges. One of them has just broken up with her girlfriend. The other one loves like rom-com, loves rom-com style movies and stuff. And she just loves all the cutesy um, date things that happen in them. Well, they decide to have a summer whirlwind type of romance and just kind of live out these really cute falling in love montages that you see in these movies um and then at the end of the summer they're supposed to break up and go their separate ways this just sounds adorable i have been dying to read this one um i will be reading this one no matter what in this month like i don't care if i have to what i have to do this one's getting read this month so 
there we go. Number four is the most anticipated one for me. I have heard so many good things about it and I have been dying to read it. I had bought the ebook, so I was like, I don't need to buy the physical book, but I keep, I just haven't been filling ebooks lately. I was actually gifted this, I believe last month and I freaked out because I was so excited. And that is Red, White and Royal Blue by Casey McQuinston. Um, this follow, this is a hate to love uh, rom-com style book. It just sounds so cute. Um, one of the main characters is the son of the president of the United States. The other one is a prince. Um, and they meet, they don't like each other. And then they're kind of just kind of pushed together and romance takes place. I don't know. It sounds super cute. It's my favorite type of trophy rom com -y thing. So this is my number one of this month. Like I am dying for this one. I'm so excited. I finally got the physical copy and I cannot wait to get to this one. Like I said, this one is kind of the one I'm hoping wins. Now for number five. That is going to be The Apocalypse of Elena Mendoza by Sean David Hutchinson. This follows the story of a girl named Elena who, um, sh her crush, a girl named Freddie, is shot in the parking lot of a Starbucks, I think it is, and somehow she's able to heal her. And when she does that, all of a sudden, the guy that shot her, um, is taken up into the clouds and Elena has no idea what's going on. She thinks like the world is coming to an end and she's the only one that can stop it. This sounds really fun. Um, I absolutely loved the last book by him that I have read, which was The Past and Other Things That Should Stay Buried. That was a really great um, book about friendship. So I'm really curious to see about this. Um, I have, I was gifted pretty much the rest of his books recently. So I'm very excited to get into them. Um, the one I'm dying to read though is We Are the Ants, but that one didn't have five words in its title. This one did, and it does sound great, and I cannot wait to get more into his writing, because like I said, I absolutely adored the last book. So, there we go. That was my five books. I am going to shuffle up my little TBR here, and I'm going to pick it out. So, here we go. Let's see, let's see. Number two, which is The Prince and the Dressmaker. I'm very excited for this one. I cannot wait to get started with this one. Um, I will make my way through this in absolutely no time at all. Um, I will start it first thing tomorrow on my way to work because I take the train to work. So I will have plenty of time for that. So there we go. There's the first book for my Thousand Door Readathon. I will hopefully be uploading this, if not as soon as I finish filming or tomorrow ASAP. So I'm going to try and keep these up to date as best as I can. So, and like I'm already two, three days behind, but I will finish this within, I want to say, an hour and a half or so. So there we go. And then I will jump in into prompt number two. So I will catch up with you guys later. Bye. Hey loves, I'm here with an update about the Thousand Door Readathon. I did finish prompt number one, which as I said, I went with Emma's prompt of five. And that was a book with five words in the title. And I went um, after my whole little shuffle thing, I ended up going with The Prince and the Dressmaker. Uh, this was absolutely adorable. I loved it. I went with four stars. I absolutely loved it. I can see myself rereading this. It was so freaking cute. The art is adorable. The story was awesome. I just absolutely loved it. It was so freaking good. So with this down, I have making my way through door number two, which is because I went with a four or five star rating with that. It was to the prompt, I'm back. Um, this, these are all meme-based type of ones, uh, prompts. And one of the suggestions is to go with a sequel. I 
didn't have any sequels on my thing and I couldn't really figure out one that would go with it but I did have one sequel and I was very excited because my heart is ready for this and it's another graphic novel which is weird but hey I'm fine with it and that is going to be Heartstopper volume 2. I am so excited um I absolutely adored volume 1. I thought it was the cutest thing ever. It just made my heart a flutter. So I will be reading this for prompt number 2. Um, I was originally going to upload this with just the first prompt, but um, seeing as I finished it and I finished this in a, I finished that in a day, I figured I would just do the two of these, edit really quick, and then upload the um, what my thoughts are of this one and the next prompt in the next video. So there we go. Um, like I said, posting is going to be kind of odd with me going back to work and everything. So I'm trying to get used to that. And my schedule is all over the place because there are only six of us working. So everything is kind of just like, what? But I am happy to be, be at work. And I got like surprisingly good news that we got a raise, which is freaking awesome. So there we go. There's my second one. I have um, the prompt to get to the next one is to um, if this is going to end the way you predict it. The way I'm going to take that is rating wise. Um, since this is kind of like a cutesy rom-com, I can't really see too big of a like plot twist or anything. Maybe I'll be wrong. I don't know. But I predict this is going to be five stars. Like that's where I'm coming for. So we'll see if this is a five star and I will go off onto my next um, door with that. So there we go. Quick little update with it. I'm going to try and get this video up today or maybe tomorrow. Hopefully today though. I have time. So because today is my one day off. So I will check in with you guys later. And if you are doing the Thousand Door Readathon, I would love to know. I'd love to know what paths you're on so far, or what books you're reading. That'll be great. So take care and I will see you guys later. Happy reading. Bye.